Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early. It's like after six, I think. And uh, yeah, so mucus, sickness, pain is an adaptation process. And this is actually in my book because the whole point of Jilly Juice is to understand what mucus, sickness, and pain is. And people characterize it very negatively. They mischaracterize it. And then they apply the wrong protocols to it. And so I'm going to give you an example like yesterday. I don't drink a lot of my juice because I don't really need to. Hey, Angela. But um, I did drink a bunch of it, I think, when I first made it and discovered it. And I think I went through a minor headache, like almost right afterwards. So it means the body was adapting to the new environment and then everything is fine. Um, so I was able to relatively heal and seal for the most part on the pink salt. However, I had to take a lot of it, of the pink salt, um, jelly juice. And I had the time to do it. A lot of you guys don't have the time to drink a lot of the jelly juice and much less the pink salt, which would then, yes, make it, it did make it harder because of the heavy metals that were in it. So now with the white salt juice, it's not going to be as difficult. There's hardly anything to it. It tastes better. Dogs like it. You guys will like it once you do it. It's going to be that much easier. You won't have to drink as much. But yesterday, I noticed that um, I had a bit of a headache, um, and I wasn't even drinking the juice, so just FYI. So you have to understand, when you get sick, no matter what it is, when you get sick, your body's adjusting to the new environment. Whether you're bringing in the jelly juice, whether you're walking into a very aggressive environment, and it could be you're walking into a concert, you could be walking into an area that has a bit more minerals in the air because it is a factory, or it just could be the fact that you have a bunch of people that are sick in your community, okay? And lately, the last, I mean, ever since like February, whatever, January, I don't get sick per se, like you guys think about sickness. It's more of like, I see it as an adaptation. What I view as sick as a negative connotation is like a chronic illness. It is an imbalance or an imbalance in your fatty acids, amino acids, pro hormones and minerals to where you have a diagnosis and you're trying to do remedies or you're trying to get procedures done to you. That's how I view what sickness is, is to where your body is trying to adapt and you're not giving it what it needs and it keeps trying to adapt. And it goes into this, this adaptation loop of a specific diagnosable disease. Let's say, like, for example, diabetes. Diabetes is where the body's trying to adapt to the new environment. You're not giving what it needs. And now it's stuck in this loop. When you have obesity issues, you are stuck in an adaptation loop of where your body is taking on more fatty acids than you really should be. And it's causing then uh, an imbalance in your fatty acids. Okay, but when you're on the jelly juice and you're relatively healed and sealed and you are feeling the atmosphere and it's, and it's, it's aggressive and you might get a little bit of a headache, you might get um, some mucus coming out. And I'm telling you from the perspective of me being on the juice for the longest time, for at least four years and doing a lot of it and able to see the other side, the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so when I feel... <laughs> When I blow my nose, when I feel a slight headache, I know or my gut tells me that this virus that's out there, whatever it is, since like beginning of this, this fall season, or what is it? No, we're not fall season, sorry. We're in the spring, Jesus Christ. We're in the spring. I've been feeling so many different viruses come through. So many different viruses come through. And it's a trip. Okay, and it means that your body is trying to adapt, but the the adaptation for my for me, the adaptation for me is so much shorter. My husband.
husband, it was a week-long adaptation process. He was exposed to some kind of virus. We don't know what it was, whether it was influenza A, B, or the coronavirus, or some derivative of the coronavirus. He was exposed to it, whatever it was, and took him a week to adapt. And he's still adapting because he still gets mucus. I feel the different fluctuations in the universe. And I'll blow my nose, have a slight headache, I might have to take a nap. I drink my juice in reaction too, and then everything is like wonderful, perfect. Should I be taking a bunch of my juice every single day? To, no, I mean, here's the thing. Your body is going to have, like when you're at my point, at my level, because at this point you guys are still healing and sealing and still dealing with all of your issues, okay? So you have to keep drinking the juice to reverse all your issues. But where I'm at, it's like I don't need to drink as much. It's more of maintenance status. And when I do feel something anomalous, like a headache or I'm blowing my nose a lot more, it's because I know the atmosphere has changed. I know my body has to go through an upgrade and it will eventually adapt because adaptation does eventually lend itself to a specific homeostasis. And then when your homeostasis gets upset, whether it's going up and upgrading or it's downgrading, it's based upon what it is you're doing for your symptoms, for the things that you're reacting to. And if you're taking pills, powder, supplements, detoxes, superficial diets, um, all the different remedies, procedures, you are going to downgrade your body, go through that upset of homeostasis, you're gonna downgrade your body, try to find some kind of happy medium, some kind of homeostasis, and some of you will not reach it. Some of you are taking drugs, and you're continuously taking things to deal with your upset of homeostasis. So you can try to achieve a relatively pain-free life, but you haven't earned it. And that's what I find in the allopathic holistic people is they're trying to achieve a pain-free life and they haven't earned it. They're trying to achieve an equilibrium and they haven't earned it. And so with the whole J-juice is you're going to have to go through the adaptation process and with the right chemistry, which is the jelly juice, okay? And you're going to have to earn that pain-free life. You have to earn the, 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 where everything is balanced correctly, where everything is in complete equilibrium, where your fatty acids and your amino acids and your pro-hormones and your minerals and then all of your microbiome is not causing you infection. You're going to have to earn that shit. You don't get it through a pill powder supplement or detox or antiviral, antiparasite, antibiotic, anti-inflammatory. You don't earn pain-free beautiful longevity through those means. But that is exactly what they're doing in the holistic allopathic world. So my experience with being really on the other side of where you guys want to go to, you really want to go to the point to where you can, you reverse all of your issues for the most part, the ones that you know about. You know you're constantly going to be adjusting to the universe. But you want to get to the point where you can actually read the atmosphere and your brain and your body is like a barometer to where you know when something is aggressive, when it's not, you know when to put boundaries, you know when to walk away, and you know that uh, that it's nothing is wrong with adapting, and that you're not going to apply the wrong chemistry. You'll ride it out, you'll take the J-juice as a support, not as a remedy, because when you do the J-juice and you, and you don't get any pain, it's because you've earned to heal that quickly to where you can take J-juice and it'll take your pain away. Some of you haven't earned the right to be pain-free and you're taking J-juice as if it was going to be a painkiller and it brings on more pain. You know why? Because you haven't healed yet. You haven't earned the right to have a pain-free reaction with the J-juice. But I have. So at some point, you're going to flip the script. Instead of taking J-juice to bring on the pain and heal and all this other stuff, you're going to take J-juice on my end and it's going to help you heal faster because your body is that much more efficient and you've earned that right to be able to adjust to the atmosphere that quickly. See, and that's that's one of the, the biggest things about J-Juice is that it's all about balance. You know, it's like as above, so below. You know, when you're on this side of spectrum and you're and you're in so much pain and you're trying to mitigate pain and you think J-Juice is the answer. It is when you're on the other side of the spectrum, <laughs> okay, <clears throat> when you're on the life trajectory. But when you're on the death trajectory, J-Juice is not going to be a painkiller for you. J-Juice is going to bring about things that you don't want to face. And some of you want to have what, I've get, what I'm getting, 
but you haven't earned it yet. You've got to go through the process and it's not always going to be fun. Some of you think you've, you're entitled to where, where I'm at, where I can drink the J-juice and the pain disappears or the symptoms disappear or the energy comes about. You've got to get through all of your different obstacles and you got to just do it. And if you're not ready and if you're not willing to go through and earn the right to have a pain-free life through the way of, uh, of harnessing the right elements, then you're always going to be taking shortcuts and then you're going to be taking your life down notch by notch by notch by notch and then it's going to be too late for a lot of you. Hey, Raven Brown. So yes, yeah, so uh, when you're at my level, taking J juice will make things disappear because that's I've earned that right on this end. When you guys are just starting or you're in the middle of your healing process, taking J juice is not making pain disappear. It might for superficial things. It might for a skin issue, but when you have deep seated issues deep in your cells and you have a lot of cells that have been compromised. J juice is not going to be a very quick venture. It's going to be a process. Some of you are going to survive it. Some of you won't because some of you will quit right in the middle of it or be like, oh no, this is too much. I'd rather go do a diet and play that game. But at some point you will earn the right to take J juice to where you won't feel the headache. Like yesterday, I, I mean, I could have taken the J juice and I was feeling the headache, but I'm like, no, I'm going to take a nap. So I took a nap. Now, could I have taken J juice and yeah, I could have, but you know what? I needed, I, my boss said I needed a nap, so I took the nap. And then after the nap, I think I drank a bunch of the J-Juice. Not a bunch. I just took like maybe a shot and it gave me some energy and it cleared the cobwebs and cleared the, cleared the pipes. I don't take enough of it to do the waterfalls at this point because my poops are right on cue. I'm everything that I eat the day before comes out the day after. So it's like... I'm not too concerned about that, but I know that the someone is someone sick in my neighborhood. They've mutated the virus, and so you'll be able to know when you're on this end, like I know, is that every time you get sick, it's that a new virus is in the in the atmosphere, a new strain of it, a mutation has happened. Okay, that's what really what sickness is is when you've been exposed to viruses and or you have stuff in your body that has been mutated because of the the state of your body okay so now with the j juice you're going to bring in a support system that is going to help purge out the anomalous cells induce autophagy induce apeptosis support and regenerate you at the cellular level balance out your microbiome so you don't get infection and then eventually cancer because cancer is basically a replication of anomalous cells because of the amount of antibodies and the amount of infection, which is the imbalance in your microbiome. And then eventually you will see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you have to earn it. It's not something that you're, it's given to you. It's not something you're going to earn in like, you know, one month of doing J juice. It's going to take, took me three and a half, four years to get to this point. And then on my fourth year, so to speak, I just changed it from the pink salt to the white salt which means I had to do a, lo a shit ton of J-Juice. And I have 90% of my time able to devote to this because I don't have anything but my husband and my dog to take care of. I don't have kids, I don't have a job except for this. Okay, so I have the time to devote to this. Those of you who have a lot of things you're juggling, okay, which means that now with the white salt, it's gonna go that much faster and that much easier. Those of you that stuck around or coming back, whichever, you're coming back and sticking around and you've been rewarded with this new information. We have no diet. We changed from the pink salt to the white salt. And now mucus is a barometer. And now you're seeing what happens when time gets turned up, turned up fast. And new geo James O. Emanuel says, interesting. It's a support system to regenerate our body. Yeah, it is. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, all of you guys. So, you know, I don't recommend anybody doing J-Juice in reaction to your cancer disease and chronic illness because you're going to see an exacerbation, okay? These are people who are going to do J-Juice at the 11th hour and you have some kind of diagnosis. 
oh, honey, this is not going to be a painkiller for anybody. This is going to bring about the rashes that you guys are trying to avoid. This is going to bring about everything that you're trying to mitigate. Okay? So, um, Morton's White Salt, Raven Brown, it's, it's really easier to find. Very good, Gray, gray Wiggins. It is very easy to find. Just go, 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 go to the Morton's. If you're in America, go to Morton's. If you're in the UK, we have people in my group that have recommendations from the UK, or you'll find it. But the thing is, is that the J juice will bring about everything that you're trying to avoid. So if you're doing the, if you're trying to go into the J juice thinking that's going to be this cure for you, you're in the wrong group. You got to go call your doctor for the cures. J juice is not a cure. J juice gives you the ability to energize your immune system and it has the micro and macro nutrition, the probiotics. It has the electrolytes and there's different types of electrolytes. There's ones without the sugar, okay, where if somebody is diabetic, they probably need a lot more. They need a lot more of the, of the, of the, the white salt and the micro and macro nutrition. And those that are hypoglycemic, you can add maple syrup. You can add caro syrup. Then get online, Raven Brown. Go to mortons.com and buy their 25 pounds or whatever. All right? You don't have to go to the grocery store. You get it online. Okay? I got my salt from a water filtration company because they... I bought it for seven dollars and twenty-five cents for a hundred for a fifty-pound bag of salt. Seven dollars. I bought a hundred pounds for fifteen dollars of white salt with one percent anti-caking agent in my local area here in Ohio. All you got, to, and you can go look up the the, the the what is it? Salt Company LLC or not the salt? I forget. It's, just go to my go to my Facebook and. And go to my business page and just go down since February 14th. That's when I changed everything. It's February 14th and beyond. <laughs> but yeah, J-Juice will bring about everything you're trying to avoid. All right? <laughs> and you have to get used to blowing your nose because that's how your body recalibrates. You got to get used to pooping. If you don't want to poop, you don't want to pee, you don't want to blow your nose. You want to avoid touching your butt. This protocol isn't for you. You're going to have to get to know your body in such different ways so you understand how it works. And then you drink the juice and you bring about the pain you're trying to avoid. But some of you don't want to. And I understand. And that, that's a whole happy medium. You know, you, know you, you, you do the J juice, you do your prescription drugs. You do the J juice, you do, you know, your, your cannabis. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm not saying or promoting people should be doing any kind of illicit drugs. I don't want anybody to do drugs. But people do. It's legalized here in Ohio. If it's medicinal, okay, fine. People will, will have to, to balance out their prescription drugs, their habits, and all of that, and drink the J-juice. And then eventually, and then eventually, they won't have to, to take their illicit drugs and have those crazy imbalances. And you can get iodized or non-iodized salt. You can get 1% anti-caking agent or no anti-caking agent. But do not get sea salt. Do not get black salt. Do not get... I mean, if you... If there is nothing... If there is nothing left and you're in an area where there's no... No, I... You know, if you're in America, you can find the white freaking salt. I'm not even going to go there. If you're, like, in Australia... I give you who are now... I give people leeway in Australia. If you can't get... The white table salt, it's okay to use 98, 99% white salt made from sea salt. That's only in Australia, not in America, because you can find white salt in America. You can find white salt in the UK. Okay? So, the only, there are exceptions when you're in an area like Australia, because it's, Australia is, I mean, it's a continent, but it's, it's it has like a few states. But it's not as big as America. Or maybe it is. I don't know. The, 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 the size of the, the countries are so deceiving. I don't know. I mean, people say that Africa is so much bigger than 
America, but they have Africa so small. So I don't know <laughs> how big actually Australia is. But anyways, but uh, the whole thing with the J juice is not something you use in reaction to. It's more about supporting your body. And people are like, oh, that's what turmeric is. Thank you, seven state. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's what, you know, cannabis does. That's what uh, herbs do. It supports your body. No, it doesn't. It works as an antibiotic. Antibiotic is anti-life. Why take antibiotics? Because people have imbalances in their microbiome and they're trying to destroy they're, they're trying to control their microbiome through means by inhibiting cell replication. And then actually it stops you from replicating to where it shortens your life. So I'm trying to stay away from the antibiotics, the anti-parasites, the anti-inflammatories, the antivirals, the antifungals. We want to stay away from that. So if you're taking anything that says it supports your immune system because it's an anti-inflammatory and antifungal, then that is actually an oxymoron. The J juice is a probiotic. It has the lactobacillus, which is the bacteria that you need. Okay. It has the micro nutrition, the white salt, the water, and it is not a side dish. It is a drink that will help go and wash through your semi permeable cells and it energizes the sodium chloride channels and then it energizes your body to go and work the way it's supposed to. It will triage and you'll and your body will figure out what is the most important, the most severe that it needs to go and fix. And you can't determine that. Your body determines what's most severe because you have no idea really what is most severe. When people try to, to manage their cancer disease and chronic illness and think that their diabetes is the most severe, they may have a heart issue that is most severe they don't even know about. But when you're treating the symptoms that you know about, you are then causing more imbalances, and that's not the J-Juice way. When you're doing the J-Juice, it's going to deal with not only the coronavirus exposure, but also everything else that's wrong with you. And I have no idea what your body is going to choose first, is what it's going to heal first. Okay, so that's why I can never tell you what it's going to do for you. I can never tell you how long it's going to be. I can never tell you really anything except for you tell me your experience on it. You tell me how much you're going to drink. And if you're, and if you've plateaued, then maybe you need to up your nutritional intake. Maybe you need to eat more. Some of you are vegans and vegetarians. Maybe you need it. Maybe you need a freaking steak. Oh my God, a steak! I'm a vegan. It's gonna make me throw up. Well, you've trained your body to be deficient. It's gonna have to go through its upset of homeostasis to get used to the nutrition that you're now finally introducing to it. Yesterday, I actually let go of a lady. I, finally, I'm kind of glad I let her go. Because I've been watching her, and I'm just done watching her. But she's a, a workout queen, and she picks and chooses what she wants to watch on my Facebook. And she finally wanted to, to argue or politely debate um, the vaccines. And I'm like, you know... I'm not going to go there with you. She's in California. She's selling her workout regimes online. She's selling diets. And there are some people that won't get it. And her family and her, they're aging. And they're basically vegan, vegetarian, and all of that. When you are depriving your body of nutrition it's going to be that much harder for you to fight the atmosphere, fight the environment. When you are discriminating against certain foods for whatever reason, whether it's Monsanto or it's meat, you are actually depriving your body of very, very advanced forms of nutrition. And so that's why there is no food discrimination on the J-Juice. There is no discrimination on the J-Juice. We don't discriminate in any way, shape, or form. Now, we know you have imbalances temporarily. Let's say you are allergic to tomatoes. Well, I'm not going to say, okay, now go eat a bunch of tomatoes because you're allergic. Drink the J-juice, and then eventually at some point, you'll be able to eat those tomatoes. Maybe now, maybe not right, right away. I don't want anyone going into anaphylactic type of, you know, rapid antibody accumulation. However, if you eat a tomato and you're allergic and do the J-juice, yeah, you'll get some kind of reaction, but you're going to anyways because you have issues. But the J-juice does break up antibodies. 
it does break up the things that accumulate, that coagulate, and could potentially cause harm. The J juice has the properties that they use in the allopathic and the holistic industry to balance out the imbalances in your microbiome as well as in your biochemistry. When you take in a, when you have um, a blood transfusion, the wrong blood transfusion, and you're O negative, and, got, and you get an AB positive blood transfusion, which probably hardly ever happens. But if it ever does, they use, they use electrolytes, they use the saline IV bags to break up the antibodies. When you go to the, when I went to the hospital a couple of years back, back in the 90s, because I took sulfa, some kind of antibiotic, that my body had an allergic reaction to, and I had all these white blood cells that were just building up, building up, and they had me on this IV bag because they're waiting to break up those white blood cells. And that's what the IV bag was. It broke it all up. And they were counting, they okay, we have to do a count. You have to be in the hospital overnight because you have two, it's like I had a, bl- a wrong blood transfusion. No, I was allergic to this antibiotic. Okay? So the J juice, if you're taking it by mouth and you're alive to take it by mouth, it's going to help with everything that is imbalanced in some way, but you have to learn how to poop. You gotta learn how to blow your freaking nose. You gotta learn how to pee. You gotta learn how to do all these things that you've trained your body really not to do. Your people are so afraid to pee, they're so afraid to poo, they're so afraid to do anything. They hold their pee in for like hours and hours and hours. Don't freaking do that. Let it go. Obviously, if you know you gotta train your body enough where you're not gonna pee right on contact, but you can hold it for a little bit of time. But people typically hold it for 11 hours. My husband does that. He's a trucker. I don't know, but you know, I mean, he finds ways. But Jesus Christ, you learn. You gotta learn how to release the excess. And if you're so used to holding on to your shit, holding on to your mucus, holding on to your pee and your poo and all that stuff, you're gonna cause more imbalances. Okay. So the whole thing with the J juice is it helps you get rid of the excess, absorb what you need, and you'll be able to deal with every single issue you will ever have. And I don't mention in my book any kind of diseases. I think I say in in general cancer. I don't mention any specific diagnoses. I don't even say hypoglycemia in the book. Okay? But anyone with half a brain who deals with hypoglycemia would say, okay, yeah, the J-juice with maple syrup. And I said, in lieu of candy, you know, do the J-juice, add maple syrup to it. In lieu of candy, if you have a low, sh- if you have low sugar issues, glucose issues, or whatever, and I have it substantiated that you take it by mouth, it gets right to the point very quickly. Okay, so you'll be able to read through the lines with my, with the new book that I have. But uh, yeah, huh? Anyways, so. That's kind of enough for me today, but I just wanted to offer that perspective about adapting to your environment and how cancer disease and chronic illness is a person trying to adapt, but their body is not given what it needs. Aging is a person trying to adapt, but they are not giving their body what it needs because they have malabsorption contributing to malnutrition, and then they have microbiome imbalances, which causes infection, which then leads to cancer, disease, chronic illness, and everything else. And then how you apply the remedies out there, or what you apply to your symptoms, will contribute to then more cancer, disease, chronic illness, and infection. And it becomes a never-ending loop of, of death and destruction and reproduction. And so the whole point of the JGS is to interrupt that loop, Instead of living to die, let's live to live. Okay? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you all are hungering down, quarantining, no bars, no drinking. Just do the J-juice. All right? Do the J-juice. All right. You guys have a great one. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, all of you guys. Just do the JJs. No fear. No fear. All right. Bye.